what's up guys so today we're heading over to dme tuning uh down in houston uh it's super early in the morning it's like four o'clock in the morning uh it's a four hour drive four and a half hours and we're we got to be there when they open so uh i wanted to kind of show you guys some of the stuff of the rsq8 that's what we're going to get tuned uh, we're going to get the first one of the first tuned and down pipe <clears throat> cat delete rsq8s we're hoping to get about 170 to 180 uh, horsepower uh, about 110 to 130 to the wheels uh, that's going to make this thing a monster but i wanted to show you guys i'm going to turn off the lights here i don't do a lot of videos of the any of my cars at night uh, i just don't feel like filming at night i'm lazy so uh, i'm going to show you guys a little bit of the interior of the car at night and i want to show you guys part of why the paddles a lot of reviewers complain about the paddles and audi and there's a reason for the paddles being cheaper on the audi and i'll show you real quick in this uh nighttime video uh, so this is going to be like a two-part or a two two title video uh, one it's the tune and the other is just a review on the car after three weeks and a thousand miles on the car uh, we still got paper plates and we're going to get this thing tuned it's a thousand miles it's broken it's ready to go so let me show you guys i'm going to turn off these lights here and show you guys some of the the interior picks and the reason why they do the cheaper plastic slash aluminum uh, shifter paddles on these it's not to save costs is what a lot of people think it's actually for function so let me show you turn off these lights here so if you can see right here and I'm gonna cover it up with my thumb and then boom so you have the plus and the minus are lit up and the reason they light them up is so you can see them at night this isn't just a performance vehicle it's a luxury vehicle as well so you want <clears throat> you want luxury and you want these lit up here there's your plus right here and your minus look at all the lighting in this car so it's pretty neat so we're doing 90 miles an hour in this car let's throw it in an rs mode and i don't do this often but here we go guys the car just goes and goes So when you hear all these reviewers bitching about cars and things they have or don't have, the reason some of them have these things are aesthetics or necessity, not just because they were being cheap. The problem with a lot of car reviewers, they get these cars for a day or two or at a press release and <clears throat> they don't actually know crap about the cars. They're just getting the cars and doing a a review on what they think the manufacturer should do and that's not fair to the manufacturer sometimes because well they don't know shit about the cars meaning these guys are test driving these cars <clears throat> sorry for an extended period of time but yet they don't know anything about the car they don't know what the car's doing they don't know why the car's doing what it's doing they're just told or they're just put into these cars and they don't know nothing about them the difference between them and me i actually own the cars i review i uh i get them i drive them sometimes i keep them some most of the time i don't uh, this one's more of a keeper car i had the amg 63s great car horrible lag horrible turbo lag 
Uh, this car has no lag, no lag at all. Uh, anybody who's drive the, driven the Urus or the Porsche Cayenne Turbo know that these cars don't have the lag that the Mercedes cars have in them. It's a totally different feel. It's almost instantaneous, almost like a supercharger. It's a great, great feel in this car, yet you can be comfortable driving a long distance. My wife drove it to Waco and back to Dallas one day when we were on a rally, and it just performed like no other. And you can't complain about that. Dollar for horsepower, dollar for luxury. This Audi RS Q8, it just gives. And it's the best car I've had so far. It outdoes my M5 I had. It outdoes any truck I've ever had. It's just a great performing vehicle. So... <clears throat> That's a little bit of the review of the Audi RS Q8 driving and a little bit of the interior. Uh, we're going to do more of the video or a different video later today of the DME tuning, uh, the downpipes being put in, and then we'll do some before and after, some drive around. I just kind of wanted to, as I'm driving here, give you guys a heads up on some of these reviewers don't take their reviews to heart because they don't know what the hell they're talking about. They don't own the cars. They don't actually do anything in the cars. They don't get to put a thousand miles or 500 miles on the car. That They just don't get that kind of time with them. And it's not their fault, but some of us actually buy the cars and do a true review on the car, not a hey i'm in the car for an hour and here we go the urus was kind of that way for us we got called out to do the urus i didn't get to buy the urus my wife wasn't happy with the urus but i knew after driving the urus and some of the other cars i i told my wife i said when the audi version of this comes out i'm gonna get it and we were fortunate enough to be one of the first in the united states and one of the first in texas to get an audi rs q8 now we're going to be one of the first to have it downpiped and tuned. And I'm going to let you guys know how that's doing. This thing, let me tell you fuel mileage, what it's getting. Uh, it's not great. It gets about 17 miles to the gallon on the highway. It'd probably do better if I could keep my foot out of it. But who wants to do that? That's not fun. So... We're going to continue our four-hour drive down to DME Houston or DME Texas, get the car done. I just kind of wanted to give you guys a rundown. I don't normally do stuff like this, so just kind of want to give you a rundown, let you see what's going on. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe uh, if you like the videos. If you don't like the videos, don't worry about it. It's no big deal. But, guys, thanks for watching, and peace.